Welcome back. I'm Jay. We got Steve right here. This is the Heads Up Show, and today we're talking about your pictures again. Email your pictures, pics at greengridiron.com. Jay's going to give you a J score from 1 to 10 based on what kind of stuff you got going on. I'm going to help you boost your quality of Instagram and Facebook pictures by just giving you some little tips and tricks. And I'm going to continue to cut Steve off the entire time. Uh, probably. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. okay. Yes. Do you want to go? Let's do it. Let's jump right into this All thing. Right. We'll make this one a quick one because we've asked people before and you like them a little bit shorter. So we're going to try and burn through these guys so you can see what it is and move on. We listen to you. First up, Tyler. All right, Tyler. Tyler has a basic Speed Flex helmet. This guy is matte black with a black face mask. It's a SF2BD. I like the little shamrock on the side. It almost looks like he got kissed. Oh. You know, kiss me on Irish, right? <laughs> exactly. Uh, the, what does this say? Team Kyle. Team Kyle. I'm wondering what that's all about. But I, I think a, orange know, is leukemia, I believe. Could be. Could be. Yep. We've got some nicks on the helmet and it, it looks more like uh, paint transfer yeah. on the helmet, especially on the back than anything else. That's good. It shows that it's, it's worn. I don't see, Steve. American flag? American flag. Maybe what we'll start doing is if you make it on this show, we give you an American flag decal instead because you guys, yeah. where is the America love? Yeah. yeah? What's up with that? I, I love that it's a 2019 helmet and it looks like it's five years old already. It so. does. It looks <laughs> like it's been worked a little yeah. bit. Uh, don't like the warning label, but that's no, that's nothing new. Right. Uh, we got the cam lock system in there, which is, it comes with a lot of the 2019 helmets, hard cup chin strap. Overall, again, pretty basic outside of a couple of things. I'm going to give you, to give you a point for that shamrock kiss, though. Yeah. And I'm going to go with a 6.3. Good start. As far as the photos are concerned, nothing to complain about. I love it being in the locker. You know what would be cool? Go to the locker next to you and shoot through that kind of cage. Green. Yeah, that'd be cool. Next up is DJ. All right, DJ. You know, Tyler had the rabbit ears going on. DJ's got the rabbit ears going on. I wonder if this is Hillcrest. I know that uh, H gets used pretty common, but there's a school in South Carolina, Hillcrest, that uses that exact H. Yeah, I don't think this is their colors. I think this is from somewhere else, but I'm not sure. Um, here's what I like about this. The 24 on the back where the, the, the stripe stops. Yes. Kind of the ridge line of the helmet. Love it. I like that. We've done that a few times. Nice big 24 on there. I like nice big numbers mm -hmm. like that. The H's on the sides, though, they're not... Um, they're not, they're not tilted, but if they were tilted, some part of that H would most likely be covering up a vent hole. So I'm thinking that these are may have been done the way that they were done to not impede the vent holes. I guarantee you. So I, I love that. I kind of like that. I love that center stripe. Three different colors, man. It's wide. Uh, yeah. That, that's a wide stripe. That's a hard stripe to put down and stay down where it doesn't buckle. Because yeah. I'm going to guess that that's not multiple stripes. That's one just one big wide stripe. So yeah, that is kind of nice. Yep. What do you think? What do you got on the front? You know, pull up the front of this guy again. Front of the guy's pretty basic. Yeah. Um, we could, you know, what would make this helmet better? You know, putting that decal stripe underneath the front bumper would be a little bit cleaner of a look. It's a little bit more difficult to do because you got to kind of get the screws from the inside, loosen them up, stick the decal under there. That's why um, it's cooler though. I know because it, 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 you have to work harder It's a bitch, it. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, white chin strap, white helmet, white face mask, everything is pretty monotone on this. Yeah. That's, and that's all good and fine. We got the cam locks on there, right? right? No. No. Actually, no. Yeah, we got the, uh, ratchet straps on there. So this helmet's a little bit older. I'm not sure what year this guy was. I, you know, I think this is all good. I like the chrome, chrome decals on it. I'm going to give this guy a, I'm going to go with 6.4. Okay. Yeah. I like uh, the big numbers. I like the chrome. <laughs> it needed to be just below Tyler, you know. Yeah. Okay. What did I give Tyler? 6.5. Oh, okay. There you go. There you go. So that's how quickly I, we forget. Next up, Parker. Love these pictures, Parker. All right, Parker. Parker is embracing nature. Nature and, again, filter. That's it, cool. It, and he's actively has the leaves yeah. dropping on it making it rain yeah, well parker you obviously know what steve is looking for when he's choosing the photographs and i'm maybe one of the few people that absolutely loves these prowl and prime and all these faces yeah, so this is the this is the zenith prime face mask on a matte black helmet pretty basic setup he's got the black clips he's got the black chin strap everything on here is blacked out i like all of that uh he's got a I'm not sure what kind of visor this is. He's got black lower buckles and stainless top ones. Oh yeah, interesting. It's so neat. He's, he's doing a little bit of thought here that, that you know about the helmet. So on the helmet, 
though, uh, I'm going to go with a I'm going to go with a six point five. <laughs> another another mid road, but All I right. know that the photos awesome photos. I don't I don't I don't grade the photos. Nope, and that's okay. Thank yeah. you for taking the time to do that because those are pretty legit. Uh, next up is Hunter. So, uh, okay. The the lady working out on a treadmill in the background, though, <laughs> co like, come on, man. <laughs> I didn't notice that, Steve, because I'm so focused on that. So outfit. funny. Other than that, I love the little touches just, to this. Well, so he, 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 who is this again? This, uh, uh, Hunter? So, yes. So Hunter painted his screw heads red. That's cool. Yeah. We've got a white, black, red, and gray color scheme here. It looks like he painted the twist uh, clip, face mask clip. Oh, he did? Top, because that's gray. I don't think that's... Looks good. If, if he didn't paint it, I, he came, it came in a color that I've never seen before. So good job there getting your hands on that guy. He's got this LTFL logo on the side. And it's a good placement. I don't know what that stands for. Something football league, so it's probably semi-pro maybe? Could, probably, yeah. Could be, I guess. He's got an Under Armour uh, decal on the back there. He's got the number two on the decal. These are face mask clips because he put a T-nut in the back. I'm sorry, these are, yeah, they're face mask clips that Look he like put it. a T-nut. That's, I've never seen that. You know what they say, Steve, you gotta use what you got. And, That's awesome. And he's, he's, he's doing just that. And then yes. the chin strap has white and red in it as well. So the color scheme here is interesting. Props for doing all of this kind of in-house and it looks like a lot of it was definitely done in-house. Yeah. Steve, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with the six point two. Oh he's losing a lot of points because of the type of helmet it is. <laughs> I you know, we all know how I feel about the DNA helmets. I wanted more for you, Hunter, but not today. All right, yeah. that's cool. Yeah, Next up, two. Eli. Oh, he gets bonus points for his name. Does he? <laughs> Does he Steve? <laughs> all right, Eli. So interesting what do you think that is that blood splatter on, on the board that or is just chip paint that is chipped up paint okay so back to the helmet um again a pretty basic helmet this looks like it's a silver or a gray can't really tell mm -hmm. uh go to the next picture it's like it's got a nice sheen to it that's definitely oh not that's just silver gray. Yeah. That's, a, that's a silver great uh Chrome decals on this with the stripes, pretty basic. Again, another pretty basic setup. Silver with a black face mask, black chin strap. This one's got the cam lock. So this is probably a newer model or we picked it up afterwards. Um, overall though, you know, I would definitely upgrade this guy with, and it would look great in this one, a Shock 1.0 green visor. Oh yeah, it would. It would look really nice. Um, Good job with the placement of those decals because those are not one decal, those are separate. Um, don't know if there's an American flag on it or not. Yeah, one or two more pictures would have been yeah. cool. Yeah, uh, uh, so overall, this, this guy, once again, I, I'm gonna go with 6.1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I get it, yeah. I get it. We're, All right. we're, in that, we're in that range today. Next up is Luke, I put something in here. Oh, this is funny. So he said the last two years they were 0-13 and, and they just won their first game. Wow, congratulations. Luke. Oh, that must feel like the best feeling. Yeah, say, the first win is always the hardest. It's true. I love that he set this up out there with the field. He's got the girls in the background there. I'm sure they're cheerleaders. He's got it on the stone. Nice. Yeah, but again, a pretty basic setup. We got a True. red helmet, white face mask, no visor, kind of a what looks like just your kind of your stock chin strap. This one's got the ratchet strap system on there. Interesting side decals. It looks like a <laughs> skull and crossbones. Yeah, I don't know if it's a skull. It looks like it's a skull with a beard. It's like a guy with a big head and crossbones. Yeah. Yeah, what team is this? The, the, the death, death guys? <laughs> the I poisoners? Know. I don't know. So again, I'm not going to be able to give big high marks on this no. guy. I'm actually going to go on this guy uh -oh. 6.0. Whoa, whoa, hang on. Yeah. Hang on. Yeah. yeah. He doesn't get any bonus points he for did. winning their first game, none of that? No. no. Oh, no. damn. I'm about the helmet. Okay. Steve, you can give bonus points if you want, but I'm, I'm sticking with the helmet. If it was me, I'd give you a 6.9. Okay. There you go. Highest of the day, that's why. All right, next up is Jay. Oh, now, Jay's getting bonus points. Right out of the gate. Yeah. Before I, before I even see it. Okay. And so far, 
this is this for some reason my first reaction when I saw that that picture. For some reason, I, I, I'm I'm feeling a story here. Okay. I'm feeling like I know a little bit about what's going on. Tell here. me the narrative. Um, for some reason, I I feel like Jay here likes dog racing. Uh, All right. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I don't know. I, but I like the red and the white. Is this a Rams helmet? Is that? A... I I mean, it's the pride of Owasa. O O Owasso. But it's it's red on top, then white, and then what's on the sides? Oh, I guess it's more red. So I guess it was hard to tell the the color. What is this little triangle thing there? I don't know. I don't know. You know what I Something love? In there. The picture of him grabbing it and he's running down the stairs, kind of like going. Isn't kinda that like cool? He's in a horror movie. Yeah, that's awesome because I mean that's intentional. With the stairway, with the light streaking. Maybe it's partially intentional and partially accidental. I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt it with this one. Completely accidental. By the way, this picture is old. I mean, this dude entered this picture like two months ago. He's got a Nike visor and a Vice's helmet. We got a Sports Star chin strap. Obviously, that's the one that comes with the helmet from Vice's. We got the white clips. I think that the color combination is great with the red and the white. Mm -hmm. I like the red and the white in the way that he positioned the helmet in the picture yeah. on the field and all that. <clears throat> this is easily so going to be cool. the the top scoring helmet of the day. I'm going to go with a 7.6. Cool. All right. That, that makes sense. <laughs> Next up, mm -hmm. Greenlee. All right. Well, he, there, I, I love some things about this helmet. The big thing that I love. The blue colors. American flag. We got two oh. colors. Everything on this helmet is either white or blue. I love that. The flag is all blue and white. The uh, warning warning label is all blue and white. Obviously, the stripe and the side decals, and then they match the face mask, and then we've got the bumper, and then we've also got the blue visor. That's the Under Armour blue. We'll put a link below where you can pick those up. That's you know Ezekiel Elliott's You're favorite right. visor. We got him. Um, so I think great job to me. And then we've got the blue and white Under Armour clips, which don't come with that visor, so you got to get those separate. So this is a lot of thought and energy went into this, and we've got the white buckles on the chin strap. I mean, it's, it's excellent. And there's bonus points for all of those things. So Zenith helmets typically don't score very high with me. No, they don't. But I'm going to give this guy an 8.1. Yes. For right. all of, for really paying attention to those details because none of those things come with the helmet. All of that's thought that was put into that. That's my favorite helmet of the day so far. Okay. Yeah. Next up, Tanner. This also has a story. Oh, okay, so he said he's from Odessa, Texas. Um, he finally got his Longhorns collectible, but he took some pictures of it in front of the famous Ratliff Stadium with the Friday Night Lights. He's got it out there with the oil rig, with the windmill. I love the story here. We all know everything. You know, there's a, there's some major major football going on in Odessa, um, and I think that this really tells the story of just everything about that area. Makes me want to go. You know, put on. I'd say I'll, I'll go put on my cowboy boots and grab a beer. And, Don't do that. And, and no? <laughs> Tell them not to do that. No, okay. um, love it. I mean, I love the fact that people buy collectibles and then, of course, upgrade them with stuff. I'm, I bet yeah. you he's putting this on so, his head. Yeah, this is a collectible that's been upgraded, obviously, with the Nike visor, with the Sports Star chin strap. Uh, it looks great. It's, a, you know, Riddell Speed. Uh, and the fact that it's about all of, around all of the things that are so uniquely Texas. Exactly. Thank you for going through that effort of going out there with all the photos. I guess you could see all that stuff in Los Angeles too, right? Got a lot of, <laughs> got a lot of rigs. That's true. Or, um, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go high on this one. Yes. Um, just because of the, for some reason, the, the pictures and the, 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 it's the story here that's really kind of playing well off the helmet, and I'm gonna go with a 8.0. All right. That's cool. That's a lot for a collector. It is. Helmet. It is. Not that much was done to it either. No. Thank you for that. Sometimes you don't need to do a lot to it. That's true. It's all about just, I think you can white, feel the, the love though. The white of the helmet on the white of the hood. That was a nice. The Friday Night Lights, man. And you know he went out there like on a Friday, like we would know. I well, bet course, you he did. It was a Friday. Good call. All right, love, love, love when people send before and afters. So here's the before. I'm almost gonna say bullshit. <laughs> oh yeah, why? You think it's too good? That paint job almost looks like uh, like bedliner. I think it's that the hammered paint you yeah. can get it like Lowe's. That's why I would say this is 
This is, you know what? It, it's awesome. My first reaction is bullshit, but yeah, I guess I guess this is real. <laughs> Take that as a compliment. Yeah, I mean, fantastic job. Yes. Um, is it a perfect job? No, but it's fantastic. I it's mean, you took something so that was good. literally headed for the, you know, retirement for sure. Yeah. And you've turned it into something that's that looks amazing. I, I mean, I think. I'll tell you, it's got the gray padding still inside. It's, mm -hmm. it, it all checks out as far as I can tell. I mean, but he, he, this is awesome. Yeah, so painted white uh, face mask clips. We've got the painted strap lock on there in purple to match the helmet. The decals look great. I mean, that, there's a really nice contrast within the, the white decals and the white vinyl uh, on this helmet against that purple. The purple looks mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. And we've got the cam lock system in here, so that's an upgraded chin strap feature. It's outstanding. Yeah, I mean, that that's easily a display-ready helmet. I'm going to go with, you know, I'm going to assume that all of the hard work that went into this guy, I'm going to go with a 9.2. Yeah, yeah. Well done. It's great, great job. Fantastic. Good, good pictures, too. Next up. And last is Bryson. And I put this story in here, it's long, we don't have to read the whole thing. But there was a reason I put this in. Oh, so this is a long story. Essentially, he said his kid basically works his ass off. He started, had no idea. He said the practices were brutal and he was terrible. <laughs> and they work home two hours or whatever a day. He stepped up and he was a number two receiver. Um, nice. He's working really hard. He thinks that he's about to be the Z receiver number one, and he's in awe of his dedication and all that other stuff. So we appreciate all of that. Um, so I just wanted to share that real quick. So he did a nice job with the photos too. However, they don't mention why it's on mm. like a headstone. I'm guessing it's a grandparent. Um, Could like be. a dedication to them. I, I get it. I just wish that you told us. But whatever. Yeah, okay. So uh, the the helmet itself, pretty basic. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the, the hasty on yeah. top. I'm assuming that's his, his name. Right. Uh, and, and just the, you know, it's a big piece of athletic tape that's just kind of slapped on there and written in there with either Sharpie marker or some kind of... Um, thick marker it is yeah. basic um but he did say that he's uh th because of watching our show that they settled on getting a, a new helmet he's getting a speed flex mm. so um this is i think an entry when he gets uh, his new setup he's going to have to resubmit well of course he's going to have to resubmit so what we have here is we've got a youth dna helmet from shot my least favorite helmet oh, oh. pretty basic face mask with it the, it's the uh egop or the dna egop um not much to say about the helmet i mean it's just it's it's a, it's a white helmet i don't think his feelings are going to be hurt if you give him in the fours or fives no i'm not going to go that long okay. that low because i think what we got here is a helmet that still tells the story yeah and it tells the story of a guy who's working hard in practice to work his way up. Yeah, uh, he's got his name on there, and that's something they typically do. You know, that in, in preseason, those names came off. So I'm wondering if this is probably a youth team that probably leaves them on there all season long. Because it looks like I see leaves on the ground, and this is uh, probably taken recently, right? I would think so. Yes. And he said he took him with his phone because his card reader is dead. So no good camera. So I'm going to give this a score based off an up and coming superstar. Exactly. That's working, putting a lot of time in the gym and working out really hard. I'm going to go with a 6.0. Oh man, you're so for, nice. For the lowest score of the day, tied with the lowest score of the day. I hope you can feel that generosity. Yeah, yeah, but I'm very interested to see what the speed flex is going to look like once you get, get that bad boy uh, all up and polished up. And, and set up and everything. Send it in. And for everybody else who didn't make it to this show, I'm sorry. We have a lot to get to and keep the pictures coming. Email them to pics at greengridiron.com. If you make it on this show, you will get a decal or something for free. And if it's awesome, you can earn yourself a t-shirt. None of those today. But that's all we got time for today. Uh, yeah, that's all we have time for today. So we really appreciate it. Leave your comments below. Let us know what you think about this or future videos. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell for more videos like this. And until next time, cheers. Cheers.